it's your girl Brown Money and welcome back to my channel. Now, as you can see from the description, today we are going to be talking about the Hexclad cookware set. Now, before we get into the video, if you guys have not yet, please like, share, subscribe, and click that bell for future post notifications. Also, in the meantime, I would like to thank you guys that have decided to subscribe to the channel. I have 81 subscribers, which may not be a lot to others, but for me, it's a big deal because I started out with two and my channel I can see is growing daily. So again, I really appreciate it and welcome to my new subscribers who just decided to, you know, follow me on my journey. Now, as far as my channel goes, um, this channel is basically based on home stuff. My wife and I, for those who are new to the channel, we decided to relocate and build our house from the ground up. So we've been going on a journey basically going through the ups and downs of building a house and um, just anything having to do with home decor, um, anything housewise you'll find here on the channel mixed in with a few other things. So again, let's go ahead and get into the video and talk about this Hexclad cookware set. Now I'll start by saying that um, before we decided to make the move and relocate from one state to another, we actually had to sit down and kind of talk about what was important to bring with us versus things that we wanted to kind of start all over fresh with. And um, so one of those things that we decided was cookware, you know, dishes, stuff like that. We felt like bringing our old dishes and old cookware from apartment living wasn't necessarily necessary because um, during that time of apartment living, we told ourselves that we were not going to invest in anything too expensive until we were actually homeowners, which to us makes sense because you're moving around from apartment to apartment versus, you know, being planted in your semi forever home or even your forever home. So um, this is our first investment in purchasing like a really, I guess, expensive cookware set. And the way that I found out about Hexclad was on Instagram. You all know we're surfing on Instagram. We see all of the sponsors, sponsored ads that come through. And, you know, if you guys don't know me personally, I basically am like head over heels for anything having to do with home decor, as I said earlier. So I'm always on like home decor sites. I'm always, you know, surfing the pages that show before and after DIY type things. So those are the type of sponsored ads that come to my page. And yeah, I was like, I was sitting there one day, I saw this set and um, they had basically um, a display or whatever you call it, like an ad where this guy was like cooking in the pan set. And what he did was he like cracked an egg into the pan and we all have dealt with, you know, our food, eggs and stuff sticking to the pan. But in this particular pan, like he literally cracked the egg and was able to take some type of blower. I'm not sure, or I can't remember if it was a blow dryer or some type of blower. But anyway, he's like blowing this egg and it's floating around in the pan, which basically I guess was showing us how it doesn't stick to the pan. So that kind of blew my mind, okay? Then to top it off, they took like a hand mixer and they actually like put it into the pan, metal to metal, and just started like on the highest uh, setting, like scraping the pan with the hand mixer as it's swirling around. So I was like, oh my gosh, they're scratching the heck out of this pan. But come to find out after he was done, there were no scratches on the pan. So I was like, what? Okay. So that kind of piqued my interest. And, you know, so then the next day, same thing. Ad comes through, he's making a quesadilla, puts the mound of cheese into the pan, takes the tortilla shell, literally places it on top, kind of gives it a wipe, and the whole cheese literally transferred effortlessly onto the tortilla. He folded it over, he took a um, pizza cutter and cut the quesadilla into three pieces right in the pan. Again, no scratches, none of that. So I was like, okay, I'm sold. So um, I am not the chef of the household, my wife is. Not sure if you guys know, but my wife is an amazing, amazing chef. And I myself, I don't like to call myself a chef because I feel like that kind of takes away from the people that actually did go to school to actually perfect their craft and take you know, cooking seriously. She's cooked her whole life and she, you know, got her degree and, you know, she's a real life chef. I call myself, I like to call myself a home cook, just a very experienced home cook because I have not taken the step to go to school and actually 
you know, become a real trained professional chef, which I probably won't do. Why do I need to? My wife is the chef. So anyway, I brought this to her attention, these pans, and she had seen them herself, but I don't think she was really interested in purchasing them. And so I was like, babe, I really want these pots. Like, I really want this pan set. And she kind of blew me off the first couple times. But then obviously, as we got our house built, we realized we needed pots and pans and dishes and stuff like that. So she was like, okay, go ahead and get it. So even though she gave me the green light to get the pan set, it took me a long, long time to actually make that purchase simply because I'm the type of person where I know for a fact that my mind is dead set on buying something, but when it's a steep price, I, I'm hesitant. I don't know why, but I just, it took me like at least a week or two, which I'm happy it did because um, it was close to like November time frame, like holiday-ish time. And obviously that's when all the big sales happened, Black Friday and all that. So this pot set or pan set um, originally is $699, but it was on sale for $599 and then they had a discount code. So we'll get into that. Now I took some notes because I couldn't really remember and you know what it all entailed, but um, this is my first time like obviously knowing about this product. I just am going off of what I see. So I'm sure there'll be people with their own perceptions or opinions of this cookware set. So again, I am not saying that everything is said to be true that they show on Instagram. I'm on this journey with you guys as well. And until I actually use the set, I really won't have much feedback to give. I'm just going off of what was stated in the infomercials and on the ad. So what I decided to get was the 13 piece hex clad hybrid cookware set. Um, and it comes with lids and it, they, AKA chef's package. So, and I think they call it that because it literally covers the basics of everything that you would need to cook in your household. So like I said, originally $6.99, got it on sale for $5.99. The discount code gave an additional $29.99 off, which I ended up paying $570 total for 13 pieces. Now these pots and pans or skillet sets or skillets, they do, you know, sell individually. But for me, I felt like it would be more bang for my buck because one of these alone could cost you $130 and that's not including the lid. The lid is like $50. So I figured I might as well just get the whole set, you know, why not? Um, other people may beg to differ and want to do it differently, but that's just my preference and what I wanted to do. So it comes with a 12 inch pan with lid, which is this big one here, I'm assuming. Um, it also comes with a 10 inch pan with the lid, an eight inch pan with lid, a 12 inch wok, which I was really stoked about. Make your stir fries and things like that. This does not come with the lid, however, because I'm assuming, well, looks like this lid that comes with the 12 inch um, pan actually fits onto the wok as well. So you kind of get a two for one there. Um, it comes with a two quart pot with lid, a three quart pot with lid and an eight quart pot with lid. Um, when it came in the box, like, obviously it, it comes in like a regular, like pot box. Like you would see if it was sitting on a shelf in a store, but then it was put into a mailing box, the typical brown shipping box. But I was blown away, you guys, with the way that they had this, um, set package. It was packaged beautifully. It was like really cushioned. It was, you know, it came in these like protective bags and all of that and the cushion that they decided to use wasn't that like messy typical styrofoam stuff that if you break stuff flying all over the place no this was like designer cushion i should have unboxed it with you guys but i didn't think about it until after the fact so here it is i took it out of the box threw the boxes away but you guys look at this it comes in like each individual pot or pan comes in a duster bag and you know how you feel when you get a designer bag and it comes in that duster bag. It really makes you feel real exclusive, expensive. So I was like, okay, a pot set coming like that? Okay, I see it. I see you. So I was like really, really blown away by the packaging. Um, three of the things came in like plastic. This is for the pot set. But for the most part, they all came in their own little individual duster set. So really, really nice. Um, so we'll go ahead and pull it out. This again is the wok and this is what it looks like. Now I'm assuming the name hexclad comes from this hexagon like detail that is 
on the front and the back, the inside of it, as well as the outside of it. Um, that's their signature patented, I guess, uh, I don't know, look of the pot and pan set. And this is what helps, I guess, the non-stick situation that they claim the pots give you. Um, so I'll go ahead and read off some of the benefits that I found on the site. It basically works on all gas, ceramic, and electric stoves. Um, this is apparently, they claim, the only true hybrid stainless steel non-stick cookware, and it features their, like I said, the patented la uh, laser etched hexagon design and tri-ply construction. Um, the aluminum middle layer, it gives constant even heating, which is very important for me, and I'm sure for my wife as well, because I found that, you know, with the cheaper pots and pans and skillets, you get like super hot spots versus like cold spots and it's not really even cooking. And you know, it kind of makes your cooking like not very, I don't know, enjoyable, I should say. So this is restaurant quality pots and pans is what they claim. Um, so constant even heating, it's easy cleanup. And like I said, when I saw that little ad on Instagram, it did look like it was really, really easy to clean. Anything that's left over in the bottom, they literally just took a napkin and just kind of wiped it out and it came off completely easily. So we'll see how that works out when I actually use it. Um, easy cleanup and cooking with little butter or, or oil. Now, if you choose not to use butter or oil, supposedly it will not stick. So we'll test that theory once we get to using it. But when I did see someone use butter and oil, it was like literally very minimal. So that's a good thing because sometimes you don't want to eat a bunch of butter or oil, keep those arteries unclogged. Um, like I said, restaurant quality design and results will not peel or flake. So they claim that this like coating or the hexagon design will not peel or you know flake off like you know the standard other cooking uh pots and pans that we may have used in the past it starts out beautifully and you're happy with it and over time the coating starts scratching off and then you're back to square one with your food sticking to the bottom of the pan and that's no fun it's harder to clean up and it just makes for a nightmare um pfoa free I would be lying if I told you guys what that meant. I'm assuming it's some type of chemical that they use to make dishes or cookware, which if it's free of it, I'm assuming it's a harsh chemical, kind of like your hair care products, BPA or BPA free plastic and hair care products, sulfate free and all that other stuff. We're actually consuming our food. So I'm assuming that I should be happy about that because we're not consuming the harsh chemicals that may be made with other standard pot and pan sets. So that's a good thing. Um, it's dishwa dishwasher safe. It's oven safe up to 500 degrees. I don't think I have ever cooked anything in my oven above 450 degrees. So having that extra 50 degrees, I guess it's a good thing, maybe when you're using the broil um, feature on your oven, but that's good to know. Um, it's scratch resistant, which we've already touched on, and it has stay cool handles. Um, so apparently the handle does not get hot. Now, I'm not sure if they mean putting it in the oven. I don't know, but I will not be testing that theory because I've burned myself before when I was indulging in a little bit too much to drink and the other extracurricular activity the marijuana and I caught myself making a snack when I had the munchies and I went to pull out a pan without any um, oven mitts or a towel and I will never forget that. I'm scarred for life. So even if someone tells me you can pick this up straight out of the oven, I would not do that. And I'm telling you guys, don't go trying to take this out of the oven without oven mitts because I, I don't want that on my conscience and I don't want you guys blaming me for that. So highly suggest anything you put into the oven and anything that you take out of the oven, use an oven mitt or a towel, okay? Just to clarify that, because I will be. Um, excuse me. And the best, best thing about it is it's apparently backed by a lifetime warranty, which is an awesome thing. Because investing so much money in something like this, it's good to know that you're covered in case something happens. So they obviously are very confident in this product. They believe in it enough to give you a lifetime warranty in case something goes wrong. So that's an awesome thing to know because sometimes we spend money on things and we're not covered. We're just SOL. So anyway, let's get started. 
So I can show you guys everything it comes with. It's better to get a visual. I'll start by opening this. Now, I'm, I'll come back once I finish getting everything out of the packaging. All right, you guys, we're back and everything is all unveiled and beautifully displayed. <laughs> so we've already showed you guys the wok. So here we have the um, quart pot, the eight quart pot with a lid. And as you guys can see the detail, it also has that hexagon in the inside all the way up as well as the outside. Very, very nicely made, you guys. This cookware set is very durable, very heavy, and it definitely would be considered restaurant quality as they state. Um, so next we'll move over to the three quart saucepan that we have, or the sauce pot, whatever you wanna call it. Same details on the inside and the outside. And then we have the two quart pot with lid. So that's the pot set. Like I said, it's very nice that they all come with a lid. So here we have the 12 inch pan with the lid. And like I said, you guys, the wok did not come with the lid, but as I expected, the lid for the 12 inch um, pan also fits on the wok. So that's a good thing. And then we have the uh, 10 inch pan with the lid. And we also have what was that? The eight inch pan with lid. Very, very beautiful cookware set. Hex clad, if you can, make a set with a gold handle. As you guys know, if you've been following my page or my channel, um, gold is one of my favorite accent colors. And could you guys imagine this pot set with like gold handles versus the stainless steel? That would be lit, you guys. So hopefully in the future they buy it or they make that because I'll be buying that set as well. All right. So anyway, um, it comes with these instructions. Apparently with this set, you are supposed to season it before you use it. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what seasoning means, I'm really not too familiar with it anyway. I just have heard my wife talking about seasoning the cast iron skillet. Um, they suggest you do that, or that's part of the instructions. So make sure before you use your first use, you do season it, which means, um, you would heat the pan to medium low, spread one teaspoon of vegetable oil around the interior of the pan. You'll leave it on the heat for one to two minutes and then you're ready to cook. So again, make sure you season before you use it, okay? Um, let's see. It says most recipes recommend preheating a pan before use. So of course, to preheat these, you place the pans on the stove using low medium heat after one or two minutes, you'll sprinkle drops of water on the surface of the pan. If the water sizzles and forms tiny droplets, the pan is ready for cooking. If the water evaporates immediately, you're gonna cool the pan slightly. So that's what preheating the pan means. Now, um, earlier I did mention that you would have the option to use butter, oil, or not. They suggest when cooking eggs, since it is the stickiest substance of you know cooking or ingredients, that you do use a little butter or oil. So don't say I didn't warn you. Don't go cooking an egg without using a little bit of butter or oil because it will slightly stick. And then you'll come back to my channel or you'll go to Hexclad and you'll be like, it does stick. Make sure you use a little butter or oil to cook eggs because it is sticky. All right, um, let's see. Though high heat can be used, it says low or medium heat is recommended to prevent food from burning. Anyone that cooks knows that you don't want to burn your food, regardless if it's a non-stick uh, cookware set or a sticky one, don't burn your food, okay? Cook it on a decent temperature. Um, let's see. Um, it says, as with any new cookware, this will, this will be a slight learning curve, so I guess you have to get to know your pot set. Um... Therefore, it's safer to start cooking on a lower temperature. You can always raise it later. So that's a tidbit they give you. It says Hexclad Hybrid Cookware is dishwasher safe, as I stated. Um, it's a hybrid pan, which provides easier cleanup both inside and out. Um, it says that the hybrid cookware is safe up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We already talked about. Oh, and there's that warning, as I suspected. Please use pot holders when removing cookware from oven. So you heard it not once, but twice. Use pot holders before removing from the oven, even though it is not 
I guess supposed to heat the the handle. I'm assuming that's on the stove because when you're cooking on the stove with traditional pots and pans, when you go to remove it off of the stove, the handles typically get very hot. But I would say even then, make sure you test it or use some type of protecting garment on your hand before you go touching any handle. Um, metal utensils can be used. Now that, they don't have any type of disclaimer or anything. You can straight up use metal in these pots and pans. So that's awesome. Um, avoid overheating the cookware. So those are the little tips and tidbits they give you. These came in both sets um, with the instructions and things of that sort. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited to try these out. I may do another video after I actually cook on it, or I may do a video as I'm cooking on it, or I may take my wife cooking as she's making a gourmet dinner since she's the chef. Um, what else? Is there anything else that I need to talk about? Oh, I did watch a review about Hexclad and the guy, he compared it to another um, skillet. I think it was like granite stone or something like that. I'm not sure. But he did mention that it discolors, kind of gets that brown, like, discoloration around the sides. So, um, I saw where there's, like, I guess, substances that you can get to get that off. But again, we'll test that theory once we use them. So, yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. If anyone is in the market for any type of cookware set, this is my starting point as far as my expensive investment in my first cookware set. So, you know, feel free to give Hexcloud a try. This is not an ad. I'm, I paid full price for everything. I just thought that I would share it with you guys because I know for me, I'm only familiar with Kathlon that you see like in Target and other places. Those tend to be very good. We actually had one, a big one, and it, it worked really good. But over time, like I said, that coating started to wear off and it just became a regular old pan and our food started to stick. So I was ready to move up to the big girl league and get me something that was a little more durable. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Um, if you guys have any advice for me, if you have your own opinions, you know, I'm open to hearing your opinions and um, criticism or praises about the product. In the meantime, if you guys have not yet, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to smash that bell for future post notification. And again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.